What's up guys, it's Cookie Junkie here, back with another dose of Minecraft. Today I'm going over how to install and configure the health bar mod, uh, well, plugin, which is by Phylaghost, and uh, you can get this mod by going to the link in description, which will take you to this page, and clicking download. So yeah, if we just go to the download section here, we'll get the latest version. Don't worry if this is different for you. If you're watching it a couple of this video a couple of months down the line, then it'll have probably all been updated. So just get the latest version. So I'm just going to click on this link, and it will start downloading. Oh no, sorry, I've got to click download here again, and it'll start downloading, and then it, it's really quick. Once you've got this, uh, just open it with WinRAR, and uh, get rid of that. And you'll notice you've got these two sort of, uh, well, they're not really files. You've got a folder and a file. So in the folder, you've just got all the configs and stuff. And in the, um, well, the jar file is just the jar file for the actual plugin. So what you're going to need to do is go to your server. And uh, this may look a bit different for you just because I have my server hosted with a company. So I have to basically like sort of SSH into it. Uh, you might just have folders. So you're going to go into... Hang on, this will probably be what your server looks like, the server folder, this area here. Now we'll just go into the plugins folder and just drop the jar file in. You can drop the uh, folder in, but it doesn't make much of a difference because the folder will just get created anyway. So I'm just going to drop the jar file in, just because I can, and it'll go into there. Then what you're going to have to do is go onto your server and type slash reload so you should see that um, this is Ethan here who you may have seen in the past he's not on Skype or anything so he won't be able to talk but he ain't got anything above his head any health bar and if I do slash PL you'll notice that health bar isn't installed if I do slash reload now it may like just a little bit but boom you'll notice he's now got health above his head and if we do slash PL the health bar mod is correctly installed there we go it's just there so if I hit him now his health will deteriorate and yeah we can see the little the little bar going down so thank you Ethan and uh, yes yeah, so that's all good now if I get a little pig as well you'll notice he has a different health bar to the humans you can change these health bars so now we've got this uh, successfully installed we're gonna set about changing it all and configuring it all so I'm gonna just go back to the uh, my server and find the config file for this mod. For you, if you're sort of hosting this on your computer, what you'd do is you'd go into the plugins folder, you'd find the health bar mod um, folder, which you would have dragged in. So for me, it's there. And uh, then you'll just edit the config. So I'm just going to do it this way just because it's easier for me to do and kind of save it really. So uh, here it is a health bar config. If you're getting a server that's Hosted on the internet, yours will probably look a lot like this, being on Multicraft and everything. So we're just going to click on that to edit it. And if you're not familiar with configs, this may look a bit daunting, but don't worry, it's, it's really easy to do. So, I showed you the default health bars before. Now, for the players, that is that sort of line thing you saw before. And there are six styles that I'm aware of for the players. So you can enter any number from one through six in this. So I'm just going to enter two. And um, you've already seen the mob health bar, which is that bar thing. And I'm going to enter um, three. And there are only, as far as I'm aware, there are only three for the um, the animals. So it's well mobs. So it's it's less, but you don't really need as many. So um, if I just actually show you this, because it'll be on their website, you can see all the different types of health bar. Here they are. So these are all the different styles for the player. So you've got six, like I said and you have three for the uh, animal. So I'm going to set it to actually the third style. And for the player, I'm going to set it to, let's have a look, I fancy uh, this bottom one. So I'll set it to six instead of two. I think it looks better. Uh, the, the hide delay seconds, that's just literally when you hit something, so I'll just quickly show you now before I save the changes. When you hit a pig like that, the health bar will come up and then you'll wait five seconds. And if you don't hit it in that time, the health bar will disappear. You can also set it so as soon as it goes behind a block or something, it will disappear. That's just basically enabling... Um, let's see if I can find it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Text mode, no. Ah, there we go. Uh, show 
and we for looking just set that to true instead of false and that as soon as it goes behind something or you turn around it'll turn the uh, health bar off you can also mess about with a lot of this which is just that this is the text that's above people's heads so as you can see uh, above Ethan's head here it says health and then there's an 8 there and obviously the numbers just change it goes up to 20 is the maximum um, so if I have a look at this, that's and C is just the colour code for Minecraft. So if you actually have a look at the link in the description, um, I'll put the colour codes for Minecraft, up, which is on. It's actually it's just on the wiki, and it's it's really easy actually. All you need to do is find this page and then copy this bit here, this code bit. So I'm gonna instead of having it red, I fancy changing it to green. So I'm just gonna go over this and press copy. And then press. I don't know if it's. Let me just check something. Yeah, it's not the same. So I'm just going to um put two there instead of C, as you can see, because that says two. And that's just because that digit there it doesn't use. It uses and instead. So yeah, you just got to kind of roll that. You can put health. Um, you can put anything you want. So I'll, I'll just put a smiley face there just for the sake of it, really. And that'll be above everyone's name. So if I press save now and go back to my server, nothing will have actually happened, nothing will have changed. Again, you need to do slash reload. Now, the slash reload command, I am aware that it does reload all the plugins, and there is a specific reload command for health bar, um, I think it's health bar reload or something, but I'm just going to do slash reload because it's just easier. And yeah, So there we go. So now you'll notice that the health has gone to green. If I hit Ethan here, it's now little hearts. And if I get my little piggy and smack him, it's uh, again, it's like sort of the same thing. So yeah, that's been pretty much it for the config. You can have a look at different stuff. So there is, uh, like I said before, you can change more of the text elements and stuff in the actual thing. You can uh, fix definitely, you can change that to false if you want. Tab names, that's just when you press tab and you can see everyone's name. This disable world, you just remove a world from here and health bars wouldn't work anymore in that world. Um, I mean, you'd sorry, yeah. Uh, world disabling, press true. If you put that to true, then it'll disable the health bar in these worlds. Sorry, uh, custom file that's you can set up your own health bars, which I'm not going to go through. If you want to know how to do that, just have a look on the form page or message me. I'll try, I'll do another video if enough people want me to do it. Hide delay, that's simple. Uh, showing you fucking, we've kind of really been through all this. That's um, sort of the health slash max bit. That's if you enable custom text, then you'll see a sort of a name above the zombie or the pig or whatever. And yeah, it's just, it just sort of basically does the same thing as it would for a player. So again, there's a lot you can edit, but you can just go troll through it yourself and see what you find. So that's been it. Uh, thank you for watching. Please comment below if you've got any questions. Rate, give us um, a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.